Okay, so the final score then here at the Quadratech Reservoir Road, it has finished in Ivestown for Hell's Own 2. Joining me now is the Ice Manager, Ricky Mahaneke. Ricky, what a performance, well done. Um, some well, game was sort of done and dusted, wasn't it, in the first half, I guess? Great first half performance. Yeah, it's been a theme, I think, recently of our, our performances. We've, we've come out the traps well, um, started games well, got ourselves in front. Um, yeah, I thought today was our intensity to, to want to win the ball back, our press I thought was excellent. Um, I thought we were, we were on the front foot, we really got hold of the game early doors and um, our play in the final third was exceptional. I think, I know we scored four, but we're disappointed with the, the opportunities that we created that we probably didn't go in five or six. Mark Richards had a couple, Johnny Edwards had a couple as well. Um, but yeah, I thought the first half was excellent. And then if you flip it to the second half, I think they changed their shape, which causes a, a few issues. Um, and in actual fact, they, they changed in the second half to what we was expecting to play from the first half. So, um, but they're a good side. You know, we, we know they're a good side. We know that if you give them time, give them space, they create overloads, they can play through the pitch. And the second half, they, they caused us a few, a few issues. We just got a little bit too deep. Um, allowed them to play through the pitch a little bit too too easily and and we were a bit wasteful in possession um so yeah disappointed but i think it was you know the, the score line with 20 25 minutes to go we chose to take josh tomlinson off um he's obviously got an fa youth cup game this week for northampton and his hamstring was tight so that was why it was important we, we give sam tesla some minutes um, and we wanted to give benji some minutes as well so changing two of the back five in that second half i think um, disrupted our defensive play and contributed a little bit to, to maybe conceding certainly the first goal. Um, but yeah, overall, it's, a, it's another positive result and um, three on the bounce, and we we'll just keep moving now. What about Brandon Mzuku? seems to be everywhere at the moment, scoring goals almost a fun. Two goals today and another fantastic shift from him. Yeah, I think it's easy to, to single out Brandon. I think his relationship with Johnny allows him to score goals. Um, and I think that you know we've been waiting a long time. I, I called it from the beginning when we signed Brandon that with him and Johnny up, up top together. That that partnership is is going to be deadly. And I think that they're getting better week on week. The 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 combination play, Brandon setting up Johnny, Johnny setting up Brandon. You know, it's um, they're both flourishing. I think Johnny's getting back to full fitness, which he, you can see. Um, working exceptionally hard and uh, you know, I think Brandon's good performances and Brandon got, uh, Brandon's goals are, are coming as a, a direct um, result of his, his relationship with Johnny so it's good to see. Yeah and a word about Dan Barton had to go off early in the first I think everybody was a little bit concerned because obviously you know, he's a key player for us and, and a word on... Yeah he got a bang, on the, head, bang on the head and yeah. um, he said he was okay and then uh, said he felt sick mm -hmm. so as soon as he, he starts getting a headache or any symptoms we uh, took him straight off the pitch. So that's a precaution we don't know he'll get assessed by by the, the staff at Cambridge United and then um, hopefully it was just uh, just a bang on the head and he, he'll recover fine. But a great run we're on at the moment um, and you think now we've, we've turned the page, turned the corner on it? Yeah, I just said to the players I don't think there was a corner to turn. Mm -hmm. uh, I know that results uh, were, were indifferent. Um, I've said so many times and I don't want to sound boring but we, were, we are a few points shy of where we should have been. Um, we dropped points because of things that, that we weren't good enough in during games, from winning positions to losing and drawing positions to, to uh, winning positions to, to drawing and drawing positions to losing games. But um, the first part of the season was tough. You know, we didn't have Milo, we didn't have Johnny. Um, we were playing a different formation. You know, we didn't have Dan Barton early part of the season. We missed Brandon mid-season as well. So it, it was tough. We haven't been able to get this team on the pitch. I think. This, this team started playing together from the Kettering game. Mm -hmm. That was seven games ago, mm -hmm. I think, and it's six wins and one defeat in, mm -hmm. in, those, in that, that period. So there's no coincidence. I, I said that this was going to happen. We're a good side when we've got everyone fit and available. We just need to keep everyone fit and available and, um, and hopefully just continue to do what we're doing, be better in some areas in, in game that, uh, that today highlighted, Colville highlighted second half as well. Um, so we'll just have to keep working hard, keep growing, and things are, you know, coming together as I'd hoped. Yeah, and just a couple of final points to finish up. Charlie Johnson, understand, has gone to Royston. Um, a word on that one? Yeah, great lad, great lad. I think as soon as Royston come in for him, it was uh, he's a Royston boy. He's got a, um, he's, you know, I think when when it's your hometown club, he works there as well. It was. Uh, it was something that he just felt he couldn't turn down. And okay. I completely respect that. And, um, 
you know, any manager will say if a player's I'm sure wants to, to go, you just make it happen for them as, as soon as you can. I never take them as person into football. He's been absolutely brilliant for us. He's gone out on the back of the performance, man, and the match performance against Colby where it helped us get get three points. So I'll certainly remember him going out on uh, on that note. Um, and I wish him all the best at Royston. He's a he's a truly top top kid, and um, you know I hope he does well. Yeah, okay, and just one final point. Um, AV in the FA Trophy next week. Uh, probably the toughest game we can probably have in terms of our league placing. Yeah, How can't do you wait. Feel about that? Can't wait. You yeah. know, look, if we lose, we're expected to lose. If we win, it's a massive cup upset, isn't it? So, yeah. you know, we, we'll go there and we won't change anything. We'll do exactly what we've been doing in recent weeks. We'll um, play the way that, that, that we have been and um, we've got to give it a proper cut. Brilliant. Cheers, Ricky. Thanks for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers.